Here's five ways you're going to streamline your photography business this year. Notice how I didn't say automate, I said streamline. We are making things better automation, but not fully automated either, because we wanna have that customization, but we wanna run an efficient business as well. So number one, the first thing that I like to start off with, by the way, we dive right in around so here. So make sure to pull up your notes app, anything that you wanna take notes on, and let's go, because we are diving right in. And starting with number one is having automated workflows. I actually use HoneyBook to set up my workflows and my automations that trigger tasks and emails and reminders based off of a project date or their wedding date. So for example, if a client signs a contract, that is exactly when my automation gets triggered and they get all of the onboarding and welcome information right then and there as soon as they sign the contract. And then they get moved from my onboarding phase, then they get nurtured into my nurture phase of the workflow. So that's something I see a lot of photographers missing out on is having and creating a nurture phase within their workflow. So having set emails that guide and nurture them through the entire experience with you. So having emails that send one year out, 10 months out, eight months out, six months out, four months out, uh, two months out, all of those things, even one week, having those nurture sequence, not only is it going to help really serve your clients and elevate them, but it's going to help create them create your current clients into ideal clients. So making sure that you are nurturing them and that is a program that I really love to use. So not only just having the automations within HoneyBook, but also doing like smart flows in there too and smart files. And that way you can combine contracts and other brochures and things that you can combine together to make sure that your clients are um, experiencing a really solid client experience with you so that you can set that up on the front end and then trigger it, automate it, and it's kind of good to go. You can either do like a quick apply or you can customize and apply for each project. So if you want to add a little note or if you want to add something specific, you can set it where you approve before you send. That way it's going to show up on your task list for that day or that week. And that way you can kind of go in and say, okay, these are my tasks that I need to do. Or you can just have it say, just you don't have to approve it and you can just have it send it, forget about it and you don't even have to worry about it. So that is the number one way I love to streamline my business. There are so many other ways that you can utilize HoneyBook within just like your workflow and streamlining it that way. And if you want, I think 30% off, I can give you a discount code. There's a referral code in the description below, but it's a really, really solid program to use that to streamline things. And then the second way that I streamline my photography business is using a editing and culling so software system. And I use Aftershoot and that is a program. It is so awesome, you guys. So it basically, it calls all of your images and it edits all of your images based on how you train it on your own editing style, or you can choose specific profiles of that you want it to kind of have and achieve this look or train it to be exactly how you edit and it's going to call for you and it's going to edit for you. So that all you have to do is kind of make minor tweaks or approve it. And then the more you do those tweaks and approve it over time, it's going to get familiar with your editing style and um, therefore be more accurate in the future. And they have so many updates like uh, adjusting the white balance, especially as like a wedding day, all the like the lighting and everything is changing all throughout the day. So they have new features where once you sync everything, it kind of syncs that auto white balance to be where you like it to adjust for the different lighting situations. There's so many cool updates. That is a huge way that we like to streamline things in our just the editing workflow and in the back end of after shooting. And I also do actually have a referral code link for that. So I'll make sure to link it in the description for just a free trial. Just give it a try, see what you like. It saves us so much time. For example, before it was taking us like 20 plus hours to call and edit a wedding and now we can do it in a few. And so it has really changed the name of the game, even for sessions. Sessions can be hammered out so fast with that. Or if you're kind of just thinking, yeah, I'm a little behind on the times and everyone's using an AI program for their photos now to streamline their workflow, their editing workflow process, I'm falling behind and I want to try it. Just do the trial and see how you like it, but also know that it does take a little bit of time to how do you train it as well. And then number three of the third way I like to streamline my business is having an editing queue. So this is the way that I like to stay organized of here are the projects I have, here's where I'm at in the editing process with them, here's what needs to be done, here's what I need to do, here's what 
my month ahead is going to look like. And here's where I'm at now. Here's where I need to get caught up on. And I like to just have this very simple spreadsheet in Google Sheets so that I can just visually see where I'm at and know what's going to like my next quarter is going to look like or my next month ahead is going to look like or what needs to be done now. And it just helps me stay organized. That way I kind of know week by week what needs to be done, what needs to be sent out, what needs to be final touches, all of that. And then the fourth way I like to streamline my business is automating my expense tracking. And I use a program, I use QuickBooks and I use it for all of my expenses and my invoicing. I actually do all my invoicing on QuickBooks just because the transaction fee is so much lower. So I do go manually in and send all my invoices through QuickBooks. And I know that takes a little bit extra time, but it saves me so much on transaction fees and I really like it. But what you can do is you can go in and like set it up with your bank account and also go into like your fixed expenses and just categorize what that fixed expense would be in which category it would go under. And then that way, anytime it gets pulled from your credit card, it's automatically like categorizing that for you. So come tax time, it's so easy to literally just hook up your CPA or your accountant to your QuickBooks account or just download the CSV or like set, download the file and send it to them so that you can see, but it's categorizing for things for you in real time. And bonus too, this is not on my list, but it's a little bonus one for you, is downloading something like Mile IQ. And so basically it's keeping track of all of your miles and that also gets plugged into there. So that way you can keep track of all of your mileage and add that in there for taxes too. So you don't have to like go back at the end of the year and be like, where did I travel to? I have to add all of these things up and do all this at once come tax season. This like QuickBooks and Mile, Mile IQ, it's going to do that in real time for you so you can keep up with it. So maybe even realistically, maybe once a month, you're going in there and just making sure that everything's getting categorized correctly and everything looks good. So you can just keep up with it so you're not doing it all at once. And then the fifth way I like to streamline is email marketing. If you know me, you know I love email marketing and I think it's really important And if you're listening to this and thinking, I don't need an email list or I'm just a photographer, like who would I speak to? Like who would join my list? You are wrong. Like you would need to build a list now because it is so, so powerful. And I utilize it a lot for my marketing campaigns, for just promoting my offers and services. And what's really cool is that you can then promote your offers and services to your email list more than you do social media so that you're not relying on social media or feel like you have to like sell on social media all the time because people on your email list signed up to be there. They want to be there and it's easier to sell to an email list or promote or launch new offers to email lists. than it is social media because you have a little bit more control over who's seeing it and everyone that's there and is opening your emails wants to be there and they want to see what you have to offer. So it's a lot easier that way. And I just, for example, if you do mini sessions, what is so cool is maybe I will run for a week of saying like, Hey, I'm going to launch mini sessions next week. I'm going to launch all the details for it. Sign up here to get any details for it. Or like, I'm not even going to share the, the details on social media, sign up here for my email list to get any information on it or to be the first one to grab a spot. And then at like just building, focusing on like email list building like that week, like leading up to it. And then when it comes time to launch my mini sessions, I'm only launching it to my email list and I'm only offering it to them. And then that way it gives them the option to fill. And then that way it gives them the opportunity to choose their time slot right away and get a session in. And I don't feel like I have to sell to social media. And then maybe if I have one or two spots left, then I can go to social media and say, Hey, I launched mini sessions this week, but I only have two spots left. And then I feel like that adds a little bit more urgency on social media to be like, oh, she only has two, I need to sign up. Or it just doesn't make me feel like I'm like selling on my Instagram as much as I am my email list because people signed up to be there. They want to be there. They are your hot audience leads. They want what you have to offer and they are raising their hands to be there with you. And the program that I like to use for this is ConvertKit. And what I love about ConvertKit is that it integrates so easily with so many programs that you can just connect things to. If in the future you want to like segment your email list out or like attach, like when you're creating lead magnets and freebies, if you want to redirect them to certain programs or certain resources, anything like that. But the number one thing I love about it is that it's free for your first 300 subscribers. So I, I tell all my students this all the time. If you're starting an email list, don't purchase it like a email service provider, like just start with convert kit 
get a feel for it, start to email list build. And once you get to 300 plus subscribers and you want to change platforms, then you can, then you can just download your CSV list and transfer elsewhere, but definitely use ConvertKit because it is free for your first 300 subscribers. So those are my five ways that I like to streamline my photography business. And I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will link anything that I talked about in the description too. But we just love to keep things positive, upbeat and educational around here. I'm an open book, open community. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Rachel Traxler or just leave a comment below too. But thank you so much for tuning in today. It was so fun to have you here. I appreciate you so much. Keep shining and we'll see you next time.